Well, I was born in Oklahoma and uh, my parents were divorced. So my dad moved to Oregon after World War II and my mother stayed in Oklahoma and I asked her to let me come to school in Oregon and I went to my high school years in Lakeview. Graduated from Lakeview High School and then attended Southern Oregon uh, College at that time and graduated in 1967 where I met my wife my senior year. I'd gone to join the Navy at the start because my dad and his three brothers had been in the Navy during World War II. One day I saw the sign says Marines and I said, ah, Sergeant Stryker sends a Iwo Jima. I'll go talk to those guys and that's it. And I thought the Marines offered the best and quickest commissioning program to be an officer. The reason I wanted to be an officer was because I'd gone to college. I wanted to use my degree to do something I joined the Marine Corps and went to officer's candidate school and then I went to the basic school and went straight to Vietnam as a platoon commander. We'd go on patrols for three, day, four days sometimes and then come back in for one night, get resupplied and head back out and do patrols for the next three to four days. I used to say it was like being in the Boy Scouts. You'd go on a camping trip and you'd fight out all the bugs and mosquitoes and centipedes and every now and then there'd be stark terror. I was in the Marines for 26 years. I was in intelligence uh, the last 16 years of my career. I went to uh, Desert Shield Desert Storm as a commanding officer of what was called the Surveillance Reconnaissance Intelligence Group. And we were basically general support to the entire operation for the Marines. I also went to Somalia. Somalia was pretty rough. When I was in Somalia, Diane, um, had a, a growth on her kidney, and about three days before we were supposed to come home, uh, they said she had been hospitalized. And I said, oh, she's a tough Marine wife, she, she'll be okay. And they said, no, you gotta go home. But I got home and saw how realistic this was, and I said, maybe I need to start rethinking. And to, to be honest, I was getting burned out. And I started thinking maybe I should start paying attention to my family. After retirement, uh, I started taking the Ben Bulletin and they had this JROTC program they were going to start through the Navy. And I decided, well, maybe I should look into that. Luckily, I ended up getting the job here at Mountain View at high school and started the JROTC program and helped get some other ones started like in Prineville, uh, Lapine, and Redmond. So now I do uh, caring for troops, Central Oregon Veterans Outreach. I'm on the board for both of those. Help with Toys for Tots. The uh, reason we started caring for troops uh, when we started with Iraqi Freedom, our son was a lieutenant in the Marines. Wanted to send care packages over and we started it and we had the Central Oregon Military Officers Association help us for a while and then we got a nonprofit status. We have a, a website called uh, caringfortroops.com as long as there's a central organ connection and we can send a monthly care package to them. And it's mainly just to show them that we care from central organ. The reason I stayed in the Marines is because I was a civilian for 24 years. And the three things I told you, integrity, responsibility, and accountability, for the most part, the people that were in the service, Marines and all services, to be honest, were trying to live up to that. And I, I respected and identified with that.